Hello everyone. My name is Louisa Nara and I'm the technical director for the Center for Chemical Process Safety. Uh, we are a member organization portion of the American Institute of Chemical Engineers and we're here today in San Antonio to give you a, a little bit of a flavor of, of what's going on with, with some of our speakers and the events that are down here. Uh, this is our 13th Global Congress on Process Safety, and I would like to introduce to you my special guest. Uh, this is Mr. Michael McAtee, and he is the uh, Senior Vice President for Strategic Projects for North America for BASF. Uh, BASF is one of our premier uh, organizations in CCPS. They've supported us uh, throughout many years, and we have about two dozen of your people here today. So, Mike, I'd like to thank you very much for being here, and I'd like to ask you a couple of questions, if that's okay. Absolutely. Happy to be here, Louisa. Okay. Um, I know we're, we're going to uh, your, your speech in a, in a few minutes, going to lunch, and your topic today is, is going to touch on, on culture and challenges with culture. Can, can you tell uh, our audience a little bit about what that'll be and what that means to be ASF? Sure. Uh, the, you know, the topic is, is really trying to, to draw the linkage between plant reliability and process safety. And over the 30 plus years I've been working in the industry, I've, I've seen uh, this evolve to a point where I'm absolutely convinced this is uh, an appropriate direction to go. Where I see the cultural challenges in this particular case is actually not at the shop level, at the floor, because the people that are working in the plants every day when something unplanned occurs, a piece of equipment breaks down, something trips offline, uh, some kind of a leak occurs, these abnormal states that the plant is in at that point in time always have a lot of risk associated with them. You can have uh, process safety incidents, quality incidents, uh, you can have economic consequences, and the plant is in, in an abnormal condition, which means that people have to react and use their experience and judgment to bring it back into a, a normal operating state or a safe operating state. So people at the front line are absolutely focused on trying to avoid those kind of unplanned events from occurring. And getting their cultural buy-in to focus on reliability is, is a given. Where I think we really need to, to focus our efforts is more in the, the leadership and senior management level to understand how regardless of what your business conditions may be, your capacity utilization, uh, obviously it needs to be risk-based and focused in on the processes that are most challenging, but if you really focus on driving high levels of reliability and availability into your processes and organization, you'll automatically find reductions in these process safety type incidents that can have catastrophic consequences, but even in events that don't have those kind of consequences, there's usually an economic impact and these things will pay off by themselves. But it's very challenging in many cases to get that buy-in all the way through the organization. And that's an area that I'm particularly focused on. Okay, having worked in production and, and seen a lot of that myself, uh, I, I agree it's really important and it's, it's wonderful for us to have a senior executive that understands those linkages and can put that together. One thing that, that, you, that you mentioned before, and I think that might be a little bit in your talk, is uh, you mentioned about risk and risk management. Can you expand on that a little bit? Sure. I think when, when it comes to looking at the portfolio of things that we need to do as organizations, and every organization is constrained by resources, whether they're financial, people, whatever it may be, we have to look beyond kind of a simple return on investment uh, view of reliability related projects versus other projects. Because uh, in, if you do this in sufficient detail and understand the, the consequences that can occur if certain types of equipment or systems fail, and look at that on a holistic level, 
really trying to understand the economic and I'll say the reputational consequences yeah. of something like that. Very it, important. It becomes much easier to rationalize and justify those projects versus other projects which may appear to have a more immediate economic return. So if there is, is one topic or one sentence, one thought that you could have the, uh, the people at the, at the uh, presentation today go away with, what one key thing would you want them to take away? I think the, the key takeaway that I would have is to ensure that when you're, you're looking at your, your plans, your processes, setting your budgets, understanding what you need to do, that you really understand the linkage that can happen between reliability related events, product quality, and process safety, or even occupational safety, yeah. frankly. Uh, and if you understand those, it helps you make better decisions around how you pr prioritize where you spend your money and the kind of messages that you send into your organization. Okay. Mike, I know you're very busy. I've got one last question sure. I'd like to ask you. Uh, CCPS and AICHE are very supportive of the undergraduate education initiative. Yeah. And I know BASF has been supportive of us in making that happen. Um, we have a lot of young chemical engineers that are here today and that we'll be seeing this video later. Um, do you have a message that you could give to them? Because uh, there are our future, not only for industry, but future of the world. Absolutely, yeah, I, you know, and this is the same message I give to interns who come in or students that I meet on campus. I serve on a couple of uh, boards for colleges of engineering or chemical engineering departments. And my passion is really communicating with those students and helping them understand what it means to be a chemical engineer uh, in society. We, we fundamentally learn how to solve some of the toughest problems that are out there, mm -hmm. and applying those in the appropriate way is, is really beneficial for, for our country, for society as a whole. Uh, and focusing in, even at the university level now, on understanding process safety as part of the curriculum, part of what every chemical engineering student should come out with, to me, that's, that's absolutely the right direction to go. And I usually advise them to, if it's not part of the core curriculum, to do something in process safety as part of their electives. Well, Mike, thank you very much. And I'd like to thank our audience that's here today and those that have attended uh, this Global Congress and, and also the, uh, the American Institute of Chemical Engineers Spring Conference. This has been very refreshing. And I, uh, I think that, that Mike has given us a lot to think about and uh, shows BASF's commitment and dedication, not only to process safety and reputation, but to the employees, uh, to the processes, and to the future generations that are coming through. Yeah. So Mike, thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Thanks a lot.